all seen a vision of hoarders whose homes have magazines stacked up to the ceiling and piles of clothes stacked all over the furniture. It can be the stuff oh. of no nightmares. Oh, well, there's a new type of oh. clutter that has psychologists worry. Can you stop making noises while I'm well, trying to read? But it's not uh, the kind of physical sort of stuff okay, you're thinking. Okay, that other stuff was making me sick. Right. Digital hoarding is where users hold on to thousands of photos, screenshots, unopened emails and messages for no real reason. And it has experts worried, saying it can negatively impact on our mental health. Let's bring in digital wellbeing specialist, Dr. Joe Orlando. Hello, Dr. Joe. Hello, Dr. Tell us about digital hoarding. What okay. does it actually involve? So we know hoarding is this uncontrolled saving of possessions. Well, digital hoarding is the same, but it just focuses on online photos, videos, and normally online correspondence. Okay. So at its worst, it would be someone saving around a thousand photos a day. So scrolling through social media, news sites, oh, wow. just saving, saving, saving. But the thing about digital hoarding is like we've seen images of people who hoard other kinds of possessions and you see it. It's all out there, but digital hoarding is a very private thing. It's on your phone, it's on your iPad, it's on your laptop, mm. but you carry it around with you everywhere you go. So hoarding is about kind of transferring your emotional connection from a loved one to your possessions. So if you think you're carrying around your loved possessions, you're on the train, you're getting that security tap, you know, everywhere you go, so it can mm. really spiral. But what's the harm of that? What's the harm of having all those photos and all those things in the palm of your hand. What are the you negative... never know when you need that screenshot of the recipe for that really good spaghetti bolognese without the something. That's right, and I know it's somewhere in there, my 98,000 photos. <laughs> I know the recipe's in there somewhere. What's That's the, right. the negative impacts? So this? there's quite a few negative impacts. So people who are digital hoarders will say, you know, they look at the 70,000 photos that they've saved on their phone and they feel nauseous or a sense of overwhelm. It's quite stressful and, and anxiety inducing because remember they're getting their emotional kind of fix from yeah, this. Yeah. So there's a lot of stress and a lot of feeling out of control. Plus they're also saving things without any real purpose. It's just saving. So, you know, that cute photo of a puppy that they saved four years ago is in there amongst those 70,000 but they'll never be able to find it. So it's that sense of mm -hmm. out of control. Out of control. And what about emails? Same thing? Same thing with emails. So it could be photos. It could be like the 20,000 unread emails you've got in your inbox for work. It could be, you know, 2,000 PDFs that you've had from work that you've just saved. And it's always the idea of just in case I need but I, it. But sometimes you do need it. I have been saved <laughs> by six-year-old emails of gone back and found. Yeah, it's and, and, and I have two. How that was that <laughs> I have two and we've yeah. all got that, but it's it's different than that. It's like this uncontrollable urge just to save stuff for no real I let you look in my inbox before. <laughs> That's my wife hasn't isn't even allowed in there. But what are we three thousand eight hundred emails you think is it bad like because unread unread, unread. there was plus there was a lot of red ones that you were just saving so sorry to kind of disclose your personal was inbox it? yeah there was a lot oh. but that's okay because we've all got that but you didn't know red so ones. that's quite that's different a... yeah that doesn't red sound like you at all <laughs> no it's quite different you didn't know so you're not kind know. of hanging on that for emotional yeah. security it's a okay. different feeling okay, okay. okay. can, uh, can so. i come claim with the number of photos i've got how <laughs> yes. many photos do you think i've got um 20,000? 113,000 oh. photos on my phone. Mainly that's, selfies, yeah. That's the only way I can hang on to them. I haven't downloaded them anywhere. So what do we think about photos? It's okay to have photos on there, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay to have, like, pics of photos. I, I take lots of photos of ideas mm. and things that I read to give me ideas for work. It's not that, because it's not your emotional security. You still have a... You don't feel out of control, you don't feel no. stressful or nauseous no. when you see them. No. That's a different feeling. Okay, oh, there's yeah. some photos there that would make you nauseous. <laughs> How do we clean this up? How do we get on top of this problem? Okay, so one is to, if you feel like this might be you, and you maybe you're borderline and you're not quite sure where am I this or not, is to really just watch your habits. You know, how often are you saving things? How much are you saving? That in itself, and for what reason? are you saving? If there's a purpose, then you're probably not digital hoarding. If there's no purpose, if the focus is just saving, then maybe that's a bit of a red flag. And I think small victories are really important. So go back about at least a year, go back and just start to delete one or two of those things every day. If it's a problem for you, if you really can't bring yourself to do it, then maybe that's another red Can flag Can I still keep you. them in my deleted folder? <laughs>
No. <laughs> um, really good to see you. Thank you so much. Really good Thank advice. You. Coming up, we are in the kitchen with a healthy chef, Teresa Cutter, who's showing